Hi there, welcome to the second episode of Role Level Security in Power BI. In this episode, you will learn how to apply static role level security in Power BI. The very first, I would like to show you my model. Over here, if you will go, I have this fact internet sales table, then I have this dim date table, they are connecting, and then also there is a dim sales territory table. So this is a star schema data model, and I am using AdventureWorks DW 2019. So let's go over here and here I have created this beautiful visualization where you can see the sales amount by month year and sales territory country. So in this static role level security, what is our expected result is that whenever a user is logging, he can only see the data respective to his location. For example, if I am creating a role for the country friends, then only the people who are being added into that group, they can see the data only for friends. Otherwise, they cannot see any other country data. For example, Australia, Canada, Germany, United States or United Kingdom, they cannot see those data. So how to apply this kind of role level security? For that, first you have to come under this modeling tab over here and there you would see this manage roles. So click on this. As soon as you will click over here, this new window is going to pop up where you will see on your extreme left hand side roles. Under that, you can create as many as roles you want. And then there is a table filter expression on your right hand side. So I'm going to click on this create and here you can give it a name. Name can be any. For example, I'm going to give it a name friends because this is for a friends country only. And here I'm going to apply filter on Tim sales territory table. Remember that this is not a dynamic role level security, it's a static role level security. For that, we are going to right click over here under these eclipses and add a filter. And here, you can apply a filter on a country specific. Also, you can copy table filters if you would like to, if you have already created, or you can clear table filters as well over here. So now click on this sales territory country. And here, you have to apply your value. So in this one, I just want to give it a value of friends. So this is my value. So this role has been created over here. You can click over here to verify the expression. And here you will find that it has been verified without any error. If there would be any error, you would get it over here. Now I can save it. If you would like to create multiple roles, for example, you also want to create for the Australia, then you can create it over here. We can create another role for Australia. And here, same, we can come here. Over here, you should remember that you can apply this static filter on any of the table. Depends on your requirement. But over here, we are restricting data based on location. So we are applying only on BIM sales territory table. So again, this we can copy friends. But now we just need to change it from friends to Australia. That's it. Again, you can verify the expression and click save. Now our roles have been created. If you would like to view now whether it's working or not, you can do that. So this is the step where we can validate our roles in the Power BI desktop itself. So just click on view as and here you would find different roles. So now I would like to see for Australia. That means only Australia country data should be available. So just click on OK. It will take some time and here you can see that now viewing as Australia and here only Australia data is appearing. I can now stop it and now I can view data for my friends role as well. So just click on friends, click OK and again you can see the data only for friends. So that's how you can restrict data for any user for any specific country or you can also apply this static filter for any other table as well into your data model. Now I'm going to stop it and I'm going to publish this report into my Power BI service where I would like to verify the role and I would like to add the members as well. So I'm going to show you everything over there. So in order to publish the Power BI report, you have to come under the home tab and there is a publish button. Select this one. It's going to ask you to save. Just click on save. Here, now you can select the workspace in which you would like to publish your report. And here I would like to publish into this demo workspace, select. If there is any other report with the same name, it would ask you to replace the data set. 
but here this is the new report so it's not gonna ask and you can see that it has been published over here so now what I'm gonna do I'm going to my power BI service and I'm gonna check that report so let's get over there so now I'm into my power BI service account here you can see and now I'm coming into my demo workspace let me find the report that I have just published go to the contents only and here you can see this demo file click on this so this is our report which we have published but now we have to configure the RLS over here so for that you have to go back and you have to go to the data set so this is our data set for demo file now click on these three options and go to the security once you are in the security you would find that there are the two roles already one is Australia another is France and for both you would find people or groups who belong to this role so that means you have to add over here now I'm going to add only in one I'm not gonna add in both so let's do that and over here I'm going to add my email address after adding your email address or group of email addresses you can just click on save and now if you would like to test this role into your Power BI service which is our last step what you can do come over here and test this role just click here and you can see it's only displaying the data for friends which is what we are trying to do over here so these are all the steps that you need to follow in order to apply the static role level security into power bi service let's get a quick recap what we did so far so very first we created a report on the basis of our data model then we went to the modeling tab here we went to the manage roles and under manage roles we created two roles Australia and France over here we applied certain filters on the dim sales territory table you can apply the filters on any of the table that you would like to do then we validate those roles and save it that was the first step that we did then we also verify the roles over here using view as and we view the roles whether they are working or not once you are confident that they are working fine over here then you can publish your report into your Power BI services from the publish button on your Power BI desktop. Once it's done, then you would go to your workspace where you have published your report and then you would come under data sets and data flows, find the data set that you have published, click on these three dots where you will find the security option, go to the security options and there you would see your different roles on your left hand side panel here you can add your people or group who belongs to this role over here add their email address or if you have an ad group you can add it over here once you add it then you have to save it and then you can test those roles from here itself that's it that's the whole process of applying the static role level security in power bi if you have any question or any concern please don't forget to connect with us thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video